Welcome back once again, students. In the last lesson, we got some simple gravity in place. It is possible you can come up with a way of making your gravity look a little smoother, but for now, this will suffice. You'll notice I've added in one thing since our last lesson. Mario now floats on the screen. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. How do I get Mario to float? Well, why do I want this in the first place? I think it's easier to see some of the animations that are going on, and it is good practice for defining where Mario is allowed to be in some ways. The code for this particular thing is pretty simple. I made a method called make Mario float. I remember to add it into my act method up here. And I said, if Mario's Y value is bigger or equal to 300, remember our screen is 400 tall in this case. If you forget where that is, in my world, it's 400 units tall. If he's three quarters of the way down the screen or more, then just teleport him back up to the 300 mark. Don't let him go below it, anywhere below that. Just send him back, and he will be forced to always be above that range. And it looks to us as the players like he's just walking on something invisible. But really, us programmers in the background know that we've just created an artificial boundary with our Boolean logic, which is pretty exciting. All right, let's get Mario to jump and see this nice and clearly. What is jumping? Well, let's think about it in a similar way that we thought to gravity. Gravity is making things go down. Jumping... You ready for this? It's pretty complex. Is making things go up. I know it's pretty tough. I know it's a pretty challenging topic. So, okay, we can make things go up. So in my mover, I'm going to now add some code. If green foot is key down the space bar, you can make your jump whatever you want to. I like space bar. It's a nice big key for jumping and I'm going to set I'm not going to set the location because here's what we have to consider. Actually, let's do this really quick. I'm going to get my X. I'm not going to change that and get Y. And let's think about, let's shift them up uh, 30 units. What happens if I make Mario shift up by 30 units? Space bar. He's going to, well, things just went wonky here. He's going to kind of teleport. You see him kind of like, suddenly teleporting in some of those spots there. And if I make this number even bigger, let's make it 100. Mario, his jump is a teleportation. And that doesn't look very good. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use gravity to my advantage. In the real world, we can't manipulate gravity. In our program, we can. I am going to set gravity to be a negative value. Let's try negative 20 in my game world here. What that means is that when I press spacebar, Mario is going to think that gravity is pushing him up significantly. Now, i got to remember that my g-force is only 0.1, so it's going to take a while for him to kind of come down. So that was much too big a number. You're going to have to play around with what your gravity negative number is here, depending on your other variables that you put in. So there's my negative five. It's going to cause negative gravity for a bit before the gravity kicks around from the g-force. And look at that beautiful parabolic arc. Wow, mathematicians be amazed. And it kind of feels like it's low gravity. I can play around with my gravity numbers in my game. And, but that looks pretty decent. Let's try a bit of a lower number. Let's try negative four. And let's see what this looks like. A little bit lower. I feel like that gravity is a little bit slow. The g-force is a little bit low for my liking. So I'm going to change the g-force to, let's say, 0.3 and see how that feels in comparison. Okay, he doesn't jump as high now because the g-force is slowing him down a little bit more. So now I'm going to go in and change my space bar to 10, the amount, the jump, the height of the jump, basically. And there we go. So the gravity is a little bit more prevalent, but the jump's a bit higher. So we can play around with these numbers to get a good feeling thing for our game. But we have one final thing we have to deal with, and we'll do this in the next video. My gravity, if I tap spacebar, nice, beautiful jump. But if I hold spacebar, hey, wait a sec, Mario, uh, dude, uh, this is going to break the game because no matter what challenges I put before him, he's just going to go, oh, top of the world, just float around. And if I break the boundaries of my world, which I can do if you don't remember how to do so, we go into my world and we set the world boundary to false. It doesn't have one anymore. 
Luckily, we have this invisible floor, but now Mario can fly off into infinity and beyond, and then come plummeting down really fast once he's done. In the next video, we'll deal with restricting when he's allowed to jump so that he can't jump as often as he wants to at any given time. See you then.